In this video, we're going to see how we can use the WP Grid Builder to create some filters and a search form. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I uh, created another video and uh, show you how you can use the WP Grid Builder, but I had some problems uh, adding the facets in my custom post type and custom fields, but I did not uh, look how I can solve that. I wanted to push the video because there was a lifetime deal running and I wanted to catch the deal and warn you guys how you can use the product and maybe uh, persuade you some of those to go and buy it because I think it's a very good de deal. It's a very good tool. So uh, now that I took my time and searched uh, more things, I saw that the website was not uh, working correctly. It was nothing wrong with the tool. So if I go here into the tools and let's go to go, to, let's go to site health. Uh, once the health is uh, finished, you will see that it says that your site could not complete a loopback request. So uh, it will cannot uh, request the loops. So this will not render the facets and it will not work. If uh, something is not working for the uh, re-indexing so you will see that it will stack you have something of a problem and this should be fixed uh, in contact I think with the web hosting company now I didn't take any time to fix that I just shoot a new website uh, open a new website and start building from the beginning so let's go to the w website that we're going to use right now this is the one I have created my custom post type, I have created my custom fields, I have created the archive page, as you can see here is the cars, and I have a home page which is empty as well. Here is the archive template, and let's go to all facets, and here, as you can see, we are empty, so we're going to create a new facet, and the first will be the makers. Uh, the makers is the custom taxonomy that I'm using for the cars, so let's go and add the makers. I'm going, not going to use the facet title and let's go to behavior. I'm going to select here to be uh, check bo checkboxes and let's go here that says uh, categories and I'm going to select makers. I'm going to this not uh, having the empty choices to be shown and I'm not going to show any numbers. I'm going to deselect those because I don't want to. Uh, children, I don't have children ca categories, subcategories for the parent categories. So I don't really care about that and everything else is looking fine. And then I can save the changes. Now, as you can see, this is short order by the choice count. So if you have two or three cars in a, a maker, it will show first. So you can uh, always change that to a name and something like that and save changes. OK, now I can go into the naming and I can copy the short code. And let's go back to the uh, archive page. And here I'm going to add a div. Inside the div, I'm going to add a heading. The heading should be uh, makers makers and I'm using this to add the title and I'm not using uh, the one that I can put here for the facet title because uh, this way I can easily style it using the oxygen and I'm not going to use any CSS to uh, style the other one so now that I have the makers I can go and select the h3 and I can go and select to leave a little bit of uh, margin like this and after that I'm going to add a short code okay and the short code will be this one so now that I have the short code I'm going to replace the grid with the WP grid builder hyphen content and this can be found also in the documentation content okay I don't know why but it's not my keyboard is not working great today content content okay content and I'm going to save the changings it's not displaying in the back end but if I go to the front in the front end I should be able to see it now if you go to the documentation if you go to guides you will see that it has here a uh, create filter archive page and here you will see that somewhere is the short code that we're using so uh, let's see where it is uh, Okay, let's go to filter custom queries. And this is the one. So we have the ID and we're using to replace the zero with WP great uh, GB hyphen content. 
Okay, let's see. This is saved, I think. And refresh the page. And here we're going to see the makers, as you can see. So we have the Toyota, Skoda, Renault, Mitsubishi, and Lancia. And this will filter out my makers based on what I choose here, my cars based on what I choose here. So everything is working fine. So let's go and add some custom fields. All of those that you can see here are custom fields. And let's go to the facets and we're going to add a new facet. Create a new facet and here I'm going to put, let's see what we have uh, here in the cars. We have transmission, we have color, we have engine, we have country. So let's go for the engine. Engine. Okay, I'm going, going to save to put a title here. So here I'm going to select drop down just to have a variety. And here I'm going to select custom field. Uh, this is uh, post field. And here I'm going to put the engine. Engine. This will search and it will say ACF car details engine. This is uh, the field that I'm going to use. And I'm not going to show the empty choices. I'm not going to show the count. I'm going to save changes as it is. And now let's go and see the naming. And as you can see, it will take the, sec the next ID. So we have the 14. So I can go here into my archive page. I can select the div, duplicate that. And let's also select the div and leave a little bit of space. Okay, something like that. So let's delete that just to have also, sorry, not clone it. Uh, duplicate that again just to have also the marking because I'm not going to add uh, classes and now that I have here the next one I can go and select engine and then let's go to the short code and select here click short code come on okay and select here instead of 13 14 okay now let's save that and let's go in the front end and refresh here. Sorry, not here. Here. Refresh. And now I can see that I have the engine as well. So I can select here something like 1600 and it will bring me the one car that has that engine. Now, if you fill, filter out here a uh, maker, it will also take uh, place and filter out the options that we have and it will all you show you the available options because I have select to not show me the empty choices and uh, of course the numbers. Okay, next thing that we're going to add is a color. Okay, so we're going to also add a color. Let's uh, go all facets and let's create a facet and let's grab here the colors. So color. behavior and I'm going to put radio just to have something else again and here I'm going to select color okay color deselect those and as you can see everything is okay so let's save changes now I know that this will take the next number so I can go straight away to my div duplicate put here color and then short code and put the next number 15 save changes and once it's saved I can refresh the page and I will see now the color and as you can see uh, it has already filtered out yellow because I have selected this car because I'm refreshing the page and I have these options inside here so I'm not going to change the makers and as you can see now I have all the colors available Everything is working as it should be. If someone is not working for you, you can go into the settings of the facets of the WB grid and select this filter custom content to be enabled. If it's still not working, then just clear index and start indexing again and clear cast and clear the style sheets. No, not clear the style sheet, clear the cast and check again if it's working. So we have two more uh, things to create. The next thing is create an easy post or a repeater element, but not in an archive page. Uh, the archive page in an oxygen, in an oxygen template, is using the uh, default query. So you don't have to go to select the query in the repeater field or in the easy post field. Let's go to the repeater 
And as you can see inside the query, I'm using the default because it uh, grabbing the query from the archive itself. So you don't have to put anything inside here and this is working fine. But if you go inside the page and you create an element like an easy post or uh, a, a repeater, you will see that you have to put a custom query and these filters will not work. Let's go and see how we can fix that. So we're going to add a section and inside here we're going to add an easy post element because it's quicker. Again, it's the same like using the repeater for this. And inside here, I have to go into the query and I have to go select custom and then select the post type. Even if I select cars, it will be the same. So I'm going to select cars, but it will be the same as selecting posts. So now I have uh, this one. Okay, five cars. I'm going to save that and I'm going to see how it looks in the front end, which will be here if I go to the home page. And I have to select here, apply parameters first and then save again and then let's go here and refresh the page and nothing is working um do i use here the uh home page or do i use another page let's see here back to wordpress okay something's not working i have to refresh here now let's go and delete that and let's go and edit the page And here I'm going to open it uh, with oxygen. Okay, so now that we are here, let's open the structure and see we have a section here. I'm going to delete that. And let's go and add another section. Inside here I'm going to put the uh, easy post element. Okay. And I'm going to select query custom and I'm going to select for post types to be the used cars. Okay, let's apply that and save that and see how it looks in the front end. Okay, now it's working. So I'm going back to my section and I'm going to add a short code. A short code and I'm going to put that on top. Okay, and now I have that on top. Let's save that. And now that uh, I need to put the facets here, if you have already created a facet and this is uh, a facet that you can use in another page, you can go ahead and grab that. You don't have to create another one. So that was my mistake in the previous video that I said that you may want to create a dozen of uh, uh, facets uh, actually those facets can be used many times so this is something that it has a meaning in the page that I'm using so I'm going to create this and I'm going to go into my home page here and I'm going to paste that and of course I need to here put the WTB WPGB content okay and now let's save that and let's go into my home page, refresh, and we will see that it's working fine. Now, if I select something uh, here, you will see that nothing has happened. It doesn't change anything. And let's go and close that and see another one that you will see that it's not choosing anything else and nothing is happening. So uh, this is because you have a custom uh, query. And in order to fix that, we have to go back to the filter custom queries and we have to go and grab another short code, which will be this one. So as you can see now, we don't have uh, the ID of a facet. We have just the query. And now I'm going to go back to my home page and I'm going to put that just before my elements that uh, is uh, showing me showing me the posts so i'm going to put it just before the easy post let's go and duplicate that and here i'm going to uh, put the short code here let's save the changes and let's go back to the home page refresh the page and now this should work let's go and select this coda and okay nothing is working uh, let's see what i have done uh, if i have a mistake here let's refresh the page and see now okay it need uh, it probably didn't saved uh, before so i need to refresh and now i think it will work fine let's see now the coda now it's taking the coda but for some reason it's not refreshing and maybe it's because i have made too many tests in here and i think something is broken <laughs> also right here 
So if I deselect, uh, I will lose here the filter and it will work, but I will need to refresh for some reason. Now, I'm not going to uh, search why. This is probably because I have made too many uh, things in here or do I have, yeah, I have some mistake here. WPGB content, okay, let's save that and see. Now probably it will work fine. Okay, let's select this coda and it's working okay. And reno and it's working fine okay so next one uh, will be to create a form like uh, the one that uh, we have already created another video where i created a website for used cars and i created a search form so the visitor could go inside the home page he could uh, uh, select a maker select a price maybe and hit a search and he will be redirected to the archive page and have only uh, the cars that meet the requirements that he selected. So, in order to do that, we're going back to the home page, of course. I'm going to delete everything just to start from a blank canvas. And here I'm going to have inside here a, maybe a div, something that you can put everything side by side. And here you will need to put a short code. And the first will be, of course, the makers, because I want to select the makers. So, I'm going to grab this one that I'm using always. And I'm going back here and here i'm going to select this short code short code and put it here now because i'm making too many mistakes i'm going to grab that wp content and i'm going to copy that and put that in here okay and now that i have this one let's save the changings and probably i shouldn't create that as uh, here a uh, checkbox i should create like something else but this is how it looks right now so as you can see it's not working okay the facet is correct i have grabbed the facet from here the same facet i think the makers the 13 let's go and grab this one just to be sure and let's go and put it here and let's save the changings and let's see here refresh so it works just for a little bit and then disappears. You cannot see it. Let's delete that. X. Just for curiosity, let's see if this is going to work. So I'm curious. Oh, no, it's not working. Okay, so we're going to fix that as well. And let's save that. And we're going to see how we can do it. First, I'm going to also create the form just to be ready. And the next thing that I'm going to do is create a button. So let's go and create a new facet, which will be the button. A search button or something. Button. Okay. And let's go to the behavior. Let's select the apply. Uh, this will say search inside the button. And for the redirect, it will, me, it will redirect me to the used car page. Used cars which basically is my archive page. Let's save the changings. Let's go to naming. This is, has a 16 number. So let's go back to uh, the home page and I'm going to duplicate that. So I have it like this and this is the 16. Okay, 16. And let's save that. And let's go to the div and let's see if we have them side by side okay let's save the changings and let's go here and refresh the page so now as you can see it shows a little bit of the filters but they are gone and how we can fix that now in order to do that because we are uh, searching uh, we're using search fields from another page we have to do something for that so we're going to create a grid and we're going here, I'm going to create a grid. I'm going to name it as uh, used cars, used cars. Okay, I'm not going to change anything here. And I'm going to content, content query. And here I'm going to select for the post types to be the cars. Okay, so here I have to select cars. Now I can preview that and I will see the cars around here. So I know that I'm in the correct path. So save changings. And now if I go to the grid, I can see that I have a grid with the ID of 3. Now I'm going back to the home page and I'm going to select the short code and I'm going to select here the 3. Let's change that to the 3. 
So Faisa.d, sorry, that was mistake. Instead of the grid that it says now WP, WP GB content, I'm going to change that to three. So the grid is the three that I have created. Let's save the changes and let's refresh and see if it's working. As you can see now, it's working fine and I can select what I want. Everything else will be disappeared, of course, because this is how I have uh, uh, added the uh, facet. But this will not work 100% because I haven't finished. So if I go and hit the search, probably I will go straight into the used cars, but nothing is uh, filtered. So I'm going back and of course I haven't do the same with the search button. So I'm going to do that also with the search button. I'm going to put here, uh, okay, I didn't refresh. I think I didn't refresh the page. For some reason, it went back to that. So let's see. Okay, I don't know why it went back and sorry for that, but I'm going to do that the same again. So I'm going to put a section and let's put that in here and middle and center and add two short codes. K and duplicate that and the first short code. Let's paste that and see. No. <laughs> okay, let's go to facet. Let's go to all facets. And I'm going to grab. Okay, the makers is the 13 and the button is the 16. Okay, let's go here. Here is the uh, second one, which is the 16 with a grid of 3. And here is the one that I have put here. I have to put 13 with the grid of 3. Okay, I think I'm okay now. Let's save that and let's go to the front page, home page. And let's see. Now I'm going to select the Toyota and I'm going to hit search. And hopefully it will go into the one. Now it's not going to. And let's see if we're going to fix that also. Let's go into the grid. Again, so let's go into the grid, all grids, inside the grid. And here I have the grid builder and here I'm going to use the uh, makers inside here. So let's preview that and see if I have the makers and if I select here this coda, it's working. So I'm putting the filters inside uh, that. And let's save that and let's go back to the home page, refresh. Sorry, refresh the home page and let's select Renault and search. And it's not working also. So I'm going to go and pause the video just a little bit to see how I can fix that. So I'm back. Uh, something probably had stuck. So because I had uh, many, had done too many uh, probably settings and uh, deletes and uh, uh, the experiments and other stuff like that. So let's see. We have uh, added, I have added the short code. And as you can see, this short code is the number 14. And if I go to facet, we will see that 14 is for the engine. I can go and select also the color. And keep in mind that this uh, facet should all be applied inside the uh, archive page uh, in order for that to work correctly. I think it had to be rendered once inside there. So I'm going to duplicate that and let's go here and I'm going to put here. Uh, again, I have a problem because I had many, I have done too many uh, things inside here. And let's go and grab the color, the short code for the color, which is this one. And I'm going here, I'm going to put that in here. And instead of the WP content, I'm going to put the ID of the grid, which is three. So it will take the uh, colors from the same grid. And let's save that and see how it looks in the front end. And here it is. And now I have the colors. So I'm, if I go and check silver and then select the search, it will go and as you can see, it will have me uh, shown only the silver uh, results as you can see here and then i can go back to all let's go back to home and check that for the engine as well and let's search and this will take also those uh, as it should now uh, this is my whole video so this is how you can use uh, the wp grid builder to create more advanced stuff and the one thing that i didn't said was how you can create uh, filters and have inside the same page two separate uh, elements like an easy post and uh, 
a repeater or two easy post or two repeaters and the filters could work only to one of those elements basically in order to do that you have to create a custom class inside the repeater so you have to go into the repeater and you have to put here the uh, wpgb slash uh, hyphen content content and hyphen one this is for the repeater and then you will go inside the short code and the short code that you want and here that says wp content you will put here one so it will know hyphen one so it will know that this filter will apply to the uh, element that it has that class also and this is how you will filter only one of those two elements now uh, the only thing that i'm missing basically from this plugin is a tutorials it has a youtube channel with only one video which is basically a presentation video about the plugin and although it has uh, documentation here uh, this more advanced stuff are not inside the documentation so I had to contact uh, the support more than 10 times and I'm happy I'm happy to say that they get they got back to me uh, very quickly uh, in some cases um, in less than five minutes and they brought me an answer and of course I could not uh, use that answer because I didn't know what I'm doing but hopefully with their help not hopefully but with their help I understood anything and uh, everything and I just wanted to show you guys how you can do, use that so uh, sorry for all the mistakes that I did I'm in a hurry <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching guys please subscribe to my channel for more videos like more videos like this and I will see you all in the next video bye